This week on Operator X, a meteorology student tragically lost his life working on a C++ programming hand-in when his brain imploded. Adam was considered a gifted student and no one knew that this hand-in was going to be his last. I'm standing now at Oppo University, Copenhagen, who offered Adam this fatal course of death. Operator X has decided to go and investigate the mysterious circumstances behind this tragic death. After extensive research, we uncovered the identity behind the professor of the course, the infamous Lars Rang. Researching Lars Rang, we found this footage of one of his infamous talks at his lessons. It's recorded by a student that has now sadly suffered the same fate as Adam. Okay people, please look up there. This is very important. Please pause your games for a moment and look at me. Look at the person to the left and look at the person to the right. Only one of you will survive this course. This course is so serious and severe that your brain will most likely implode and then you will die. Lars Rang has agreed to be interviewed by Operator X and hopefully help us to unravel the mystery behind this macabre incident. How do you feel about this student who died from taking your course? Of course it's a tragedy, but that's the way it is with C++ programming. What do you mean? Well, some of the students simply cannot comprehend such complex stuff, so their brain will simply implode like a bad souffle. It is of course regrettable, but that's the way it's always been. I myself was only one out of 12 students surviving a class of 150 back in 1984. And as our old teacher used to say, either you will execute the code or the code will execute you. But surely this practice cannot be legal. Of course it is. I'm a certified programming teacher. Look. Despite the tragedy of the programming death toll, perhaps the most tragic aspect is that this is all made legal by our government. For now we can only mourn the lives that programming has so carelessly taken away from us.